I think that the funny thing for both Cher and I, my producing partner on Death to the Funeral, is that when we first read Dean's work, you know, we just started laughing out loud. The, the irony of the situation is both Cher and I um, first read some of Dean's work while both flying on a plane, separate planes, mind you, but she was, I think, flying back from New York. I was flying from Amsterdam to Los Angeles, and uh, <clears throat> we both started laughing out loud, and I think the people started looking at us uh, sort of across the aisle, wondering, you know, what are they on about? So um, I'd say that's my initial reaction, one of laughter. Dean started off as my reader here in London, and uh, he was doing a tremendous job. Um, we went out for a drink, actually, one time, and I just said, you know, Dean, what is it, uh, you know, you've done such a tremendous job with uh, the reader reports, but I can't imagine that that's, you know, what you want to do with the rest of your career. What is it that, you know, you'd really like to do? And he says, well, I'd really like to be a writer. And I said, well, then, you know, please send me one of your scripts, and, and I'll hopefully do as good a job of reading it as you've done, done with ours. Cher Stallings, my producing partner on Death at a Funeral, um, has worked with Frank many years. They've known each other for, I think, well over a decade or so. And, um, you know, she has been looking for that special piece of material, that right project to bring to him, for them to collaborate together now in the context of her being a producer and, of course, he being a director. So when we had uh, a draft of Death to the Funeral that Cher and Dean and myself were happy with, Frank was our first call, and uh, thankfully he said yes. You know, I think Dean does an excellent job, although taking it into the realm of farce and taking it to that sort of hyper-realistic level, he still grounds it in truth and grounds it in reality and characters that we can all relate to.